Hey everybody, it's James here at In Home Golf and uh, it's springtime so I have my annual Toronto Maple Leafs playoff beard going on. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's a coronavirus beard. Uh, the Leafs are not in the playoffs uh, ever. Uh, today, uh, we're actually going to be installing uh, the brand new kitted um, In Home Golf screen frame which is a smaller version of the larger customized uh, seasonal golf frame. Uh, this one is nine feet tall by 13 feet wide and only comes out five feet on the side. So it's easy to fit into your garage or a, a smaller basement as, uh, as we're in here. So um, stick around, take a look, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. So this is a modified version of our larger seasonal frame which uh, we sell a lot to golf courses to put up in the winter and take down in the summer when they've got limited space. Um, this is for really for garages or tighter spaces where you don't want to put a full proper uh, 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 built-in simulator into your space. You want to have some flexibility, <clears throat> and, uh, but keeping it simple. So the idea is you've got a 10 foot wide by 13 foot piece of turf and a strike mat that's a four by eight that sits off of that. Ideally, you'd strike from the middle of the strike mat, giving you um, 11 feet to the screen. So the screen sits here at the inner pole, uh, giving you a foot off the back wall. So you can take this frame, which is only six feet deep, butt it up against the wall and still have the screen at a, at a safe distance from there. So you don't... Uh, your ball doesn't come in contact with the wall and come back and kill you. That's a really important part of, uh, of a simulator planning. Uh, the idea here also is that you can swing from out here without your club coming in contact with this frame at all. You're far enough away from it that, uh, that the smaller size doesn't matter. Normally, you want to try to get 10 feet high by 15 feet wide. This is smaller than that, so therefore it doesn't come all the way out to where the golfer is swinging, uh, giving you all the clearance you need. Uh, conversely, it also allows for a potential shank off to the side, but uh, nobody ever actually does that, do they? Here is the frame being installed. Uh, the original design was a do-it-yourself model. Uh, as with all things, there's a bit of a learning curve, but it's not too difficult to set up on your own. Uh, once the frame is fully assembled, you hang the screen using a bungee cord, which is pretty typical in simulators. And before you know it, you've got the black surround on the ceiling and sides to have a full framed in cage. But what's really important here is what the customer says at the end. Hey, Gord. So uh, we just spent the afternoon building this frame. Why don't you tell me about your uh, space here and uh, what you're hoping to get out of it? Well, uh, James, this used to be my workshop, and then uh, it was a dog gym for a while, but now it's my new golf simulator uh, with the hidden cage from in-home golf. I uh, am very impressed with uh, the quality of the, uh, the cage and the, the setup, and James and Ted did a great job uh, setting it up for me. I can't be more than pleased uh, with the outcome. Wonderful. And what uh, what technology are you going to use here? Well, I uh, have been looking at using the Mevo Plus, which is new out, mm -hmm. and uh, a, uh, a Dell, uh, Dell gaming laptop uh, to, go, uh, to go with it and run it. And the software on the, uh, for the golf simulator is going to be the Golf Club 2019. Wonderful. So I know we don't have the Mevo Plus here yet. It's on its way. But uh, would you like to hit a shot, the first shot on the new screen? Well, we'll just hit a ball into the screen. I suppose I could do that. All right. I want to see how the screen reacts when you bust that long drive in there. Beauty. Beauty. Here's another example where the owners had limited space to work with and needed a quote-unquote semi-permanent golf simulator check out where this is on the upper balcony of a warehouse space just goes to show you that with a little creativity you can shoehorn your golf simulator into just about anywhere so if you've got a space you're thinking about and need some guidance uh, why not give us a call here's the number thank you